Hi, I'm Sean from Tom Woods Drive Shafts. I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why your U-joint might be breaking or wearing out. First, I'm gonna go over some of the more obvious reasons. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a common problem that not a lot of people consider. So when we're talking about a U-joint failing, um, I really mean two different things. One is that the U-joint breaks. So when I say that, I mean the U-joint just breaks in half. The other is that the U-joint wears out. Um, so with that, it's gonna be these trunnions are worn, the needle bearings are worn, something like that. But those are really two separate things and usually they're from two different causes. So it's important to, to separate those. If a U-joint breaks, as in breaks in half or breaks the trunnion off, there's several possible causes for that. One, and I think the most common, is people running too small of a joint and therefore too small of a drive shaft for their application. So think if your Jeep came with uh, 29 inch tires and a Dana 35 from the factory and now you're running a Dana 60 and 37 inch tires, maybe even an upgraded motor, but you're still running the stock drive shaft and the stock size U-joints, you're gonna break things because it's just underrated. Another common reason, probably the second most common reason is due to binding. And when I say binding, I mean the drive shaft flexing so far that it, the yokes hit together and it can't go any further and then it breaks. There are two really common reasons a drive shaft might bind. One is the vehicle's just lifted too high and the angles are too extreme. The other one that not a lot of people realize is axle wrap. If you don't know what axle wrap is, search axle wrap on YouTube after watching this video and you can see what that looks like. So the easiest way to tell if your drive shaft is binding is if you look at it, the yokes, where they hit together, they're gonna be mushroomed over. So like right here, this is mushroomed over. Right here, it's kind of dented in. Basically looks like somebody took a hammer to it and, and banged the metal over. Another reason a U-joint can break is as a secondary result to excessive wear. So if the U-joint's really worn out, maybe the needle bearings are all gone or broken, that's gonna cause the joint to rattle around inside the yoke. And when it rattles, it's basically banging against the yoke and that banging over time is gonna fatigue the metal and it will break. And then lastly, sometimes U-joints break just because they're defective or maybe they're crappy joints. However, U-joints relative to the rest of the components in a drive shaft are actually pretty inexpensive, even the, the most expensive U-joints. So there's really not a whole lot of difference between the different brand U-joints, not as much as people might think. Moving on to wear, as with breakage, there are several reasons a U-joint might wear out. The first, and I think the most common, is just a lack of grease. So simply put, you're just not greasing your U-joint often enough. U-joints, um, when they have a grease fitting in them, and not all U-joints are greasable, but when they are greasable, you should be greasing them, ideally every time you change oil, at least a couple times a year. And doing that is gonna flush out any contaminants and ensure you have nice new grease in there. When greasing them, these seals are actually designed to purge grease. So the old grease is gonna flow out and you wanna make sure that grease gets to all four caps. Sometimes when you grease a joint, it's gonna take the path of least resistance and it might flow out one or two or even three of the caps, but not get to the fourth one. And that will cause that cap to dry out and the U-joint will wear out prematurely. Another reason a U-joint might wear out is due to a defect or improper installation. A defect just means that there's a problem with the machining or the materials. That's not very common, but it does happen. Improper installation could mean something like a, a needle bearing falling down and it either falls out of the cap and you don't see it, or it falls in the cap and you put it on there and it crushes the needle bearings. Both of those are gonna cause the joint to wear out. Finally, the last reason we're gonna cover, and really the reason we're making this video, is to show you how a U-joint wears out because of a bad yoke. So the U-joint, this is a brand new U-joint, and this is a brand new yoke, and the U-joint has uh, bearing caps on here. These are essentially bearings, and everything needs to be really perfectly machined, straight, and um, accurate. Same thing with the yoke. The yoke that the U-joint sits into, these cups need to be perfectly machined, they need to be straight, and the U-joint really should just snap into place. And then when it's in there, like on a new yoke and a new joint, it doesn't want to fall out. It's not so tight that it doesn't want to move, but it's in there nice and snug. A couple of reasons the yoke might be damaged. One is if you ever had a U-joint break, or maybe the straps and bolts break, or the U-bolts break, but if the drive shaft comes out of the yoke under load, it's gonna damage the yoke on its way out, and you really should replace the yoke right after. Another reason is a lot of times these yokes, we're talking about vehicles that are 20, 30 years old, and that means that yoke's been down near the ground for 20, 30 years, getting rusty, getting banged against rocks, and just getting damaged. The best way to tell 
if you have a U-joint wearing out because of a bad yoke is to look at the joint. So this yoke, it is worn in this direction, but it's relatively good in this direction. And obviously they didn't make the U-joint well in this direction and then make it crappy in this direction. So something else is going on. And what's happening is this yoke, where this joint sits in there, if it is a little bit loose, what's gonna happen is this bearing cap is gonna get cocked to the side a little bit. And then instead of getting full even load distribution on the trunnions and also on the needle bearings, it's gonna run just kind of on the corners and that's gonna wear down the trunnions and crush the needle bearings. And you can really see that by looking at the edges of this joint. It's basically just worn on the corners and then you flip it 180 degrees and it's worn on the same corners. So if you have this kind of wear on a U-joint and if you've had a U-joint wear out, you put a new one in and a couple hundred, a couple thousand miles later, it's worn out again, it's most likely your yoke. It, I, I focus mostly on the pinion yoke. It could be the transcase yoke. It could also be the drive shaft. It could be the part of the, the drive shaft that the U-joint presses into. That's less common, but if it's wearing out in one direction and it'll, it's where it attaches to one thing, that one thing is probably the problem. So if you suspect you have a bad yoke, take a look at the yoke. Uh, this yoke here, you can see, I showed you before, there's a gap between the ears, so you can move the U-joint in between the tabs. Also, if you look in the cups here, where these should really be perfect machine surfaces, this one's a little bit mushroomed over, this one has a big gouge in it, and that's gonna cause that bearing cap to misalign on the end of the joint. So there you have it. As we've shown, there's a few different reasons a U-joint might either break or wear out, and most of them have nothing to do with the actual joint. If you have questions, visit our website or give us a call. We'll see you next time.